Well, hello, hello, and hello, Big Eric Phil, with another edition of Dude, What the Fuck? And sometimes when you're perusing the internet, looking for goofy things, you find other goofy things, and you watch it, and within the first five seconds, your reaction is, Dude, what the fuck? You look like that guy right there, shaking your head, like, Huh? What? Uh, with or without context, I cannot explain the following thing here. I mean, why would you tape this? Why would you attend something like this? And if anybody knows exactly what this is we're about to look at, please let me know. And by the way, don't worry, it's nothing that has anything to do with the Democratic National Convention. If you think I'm going to look at that train wreck of a bunch of commies all uh, kissing each other's ass, uh, if I want to see that, I'll watch the Oscar Awards. Thank you very much. Hell no. Hell no. You already know what a pile of shit that is. I'm not going to subject you to that. Here's a much shorter and much funnier pile of shit. And again, if you could figure out what the fuck is going on here, please let me know in the comments section, would you please? Also, I want to give a special shout out. We uh, hit over 500 subs over the weekend. Thank you very much, each and every one of you, even the trolls. Okay, let's go. The hell is this? Okay, you see this scenario here. It looks like an aerobic studio. Bunch of ugly white women in it. What else is new, right? But there's a twist. There's a twist. Oof. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe that is the appropriate sound that white libs ought to be making. Maybe they should do this all the time, right? My body, my choice. <laughs> Barking like a fucking dog. Um, yes, I'm trying to find a camel toe here. I think they're, you're going to have nothing but guns. Uh, would you really want to see a camel toe on any of these uh, not lookers? Exactly ex the same kind of feminist, exactly what you see in an abortion rally, right? Uh, all Kamala Harris voters here. Uh, awful lack of uh, people of color there. Uh, again, if this was, uh, if you, the news told you this is some kind of Republican gathering or Trump rally or something, the first thing it says, where, where, there's no BIPOC, no people of color. Well, they sure shit ain't on here. You know what? Because they don't want to hang out with people like you. Not only are you whiteies, you're the worst kind of whiteies. All right? And if you're making barking noises, yeah. Uh, black folks don't need barks, do dogs barking at them, okay? <laughs> Nobody does. Well, there's one guy there. There's another one. Uh, I don't want to see your camel toe either, sir. Thank you. Be real. Ain't no shit. Oh, God. Not a looker in the bunch, of course. Anybody surprised? Oh, yeah, these are all Kamala, Kamala Harris supporters here. No people of color whatsoever. These would be the first one to tell you, we're the people of color. Well, I'm asking you, Becky, Amy, and uh, Courtney, who the fuck is the people of color? Shit. <laughs> what is going on here? What is this? What is this? <laughs> What a waste of wood this is. It looked like around some kind of fucking Jason Voorhees fucking world. Yeah, where's he at? Could use him. What the f It must really reek in there. I mean, just looking at this crowd. Can you imagine the stink in there? I can only imagine... Uh, you ever go into a supermarket about a half hour before closing time and they start to clear out the deli counter and the seafood counter especially and you go back there and it leaves a stink that you could smell as soon as you get anywhere near there and it just stays with you for a while well that's uh, what i imagine this smells like in here except add the smell of an outhouse to that as well and you've got a fun day i mean again I, I, what happened just regular ass aerobics or whatever what what is this what is this what what the fuck are you dumb, crazy broads doing? What is this? Two of the pink? Where's the other one that's supposed to be in the stink? I think it stinks enough already in there. Oh, boy. There's one of uh, Joe, Biden's, uh, Joe Biden's cabinet members right there. Pete Buttigieg, is that you? Is that you? Uh? Oh, my God. Well, hey, don't forget... Before old Joe slinks off into obscurity. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Goddamn right he fucking did. <sighs> they should have had them all come to the DNC, too. I mean, they'd fit right in, right? 
And they go out and uh, out to the uh, the uh, the abortion party bus outside. <laughs> you know, you got to imagine at least half of them are married to some poor sap who's you know probably got a a, a rope and a stool ready to go right now. <laughs> Maybe they're making. Uh, maybe they're trying to uh, shy the monkeypox away. I, mean, I don't know. Anybody? Can, can anybody tell me what the fuck all of this is? What is this? Anybody? What? What? What are they doing? And how much do they pay to get in? You know what I mean? <laughs> God. Uh, it's it's over, folks. It's over. Society as we know it is over. Where the fuck is the asteroid? All right, please. Dude, what the fuck? Thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Follow me on Rumble, being every podcast. Follow me at the above social medias. And again, thank you for pushing us over 500. Appreciate it. All right. And I will be back tonight. That will be Tuesday, 820 at approximately 9 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I say approximately because work schedule is pending. And I don't know uh, what I will, what time I'll actually be here to start. Well, let's hope it's not too much later than 9 p.m. Pacific time. Check for updates on uh, the Big Area Phil channel on YouTube. Okay, okay. And until then, dude, what the fuck? <laughs>